Hello, hello, and welcome back to extracurricular activities. We're still practicing. Uh, Coach Chan will be back with us momentarily, I guess, getting some water. That's kind of, that's nice. I don't know why <laughs> our, our lad didn't bring his own water. That seems like something you don't bring to practice, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Maybe I should focus on the swing, uh, on the swing now. I'll try hitting a few balls while I, while I wait. You bounce the ball on the court, practicing swinging your racket the way Coach Grifter had just shown you. You went through the motions constantly until he returned. Ah, oh, good. You seem to have that down r easily enough. You hit the ball a lot like that, but I feel like it's unintentional. Having a better understanding of the shot will help you utilize it more. Next, uh, <clears throat> we're gonna get over to a kick serve. The goal of a kick serve is to get off uh, get them off to the side uh, with a weak return. Then you can follow up with a cross-court shot and secure the point. Uh, this one is going to take some time to work on, so uh, I've set up an entire basket of balls uh, here for you to work with. Go ahead and serve like you normally would. Okay. Alright, so watch me now. Keep an eye on how I have my racket turned when I serve. Here goes! As the coach tosses the ball into the air to serve, yeah, to s hmm? into the air to serve, you notice just how short his sh uh, his shirt was. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a, it looks good, you know. Most of his stomach was showing while his arms were up in the air. A little wide of a shot on the shot, but did you notice how it jumped to the side after it landed? I I didn't notice. Whoa. You were watching me serve, weren't you? Did you see how I had my racket turned? I didn't. Come on, Mr. Josh. Pay attention to what the ball does this time. Then I'll show you how to hold your racket. Today just isn't a day for me to focus. Everything about Coach right now is distracting me. Okay, here we go again. Be sure to watch the ball this time. Oh yeah, just like that. The ball landed just on the corner of the serve box. The service box and... Uh, jumped out, jumped out wide. Even Spencer'd have a hard time getting that back. Yup, yeah, you did. Uh, did you notice how low the ball was too? Just imagine that on clay court. So I'm going to go through the motions slowly a few, a few times, and I want you to follow along with me. Raise your racket up, and instead of bringing it down, uh, straight down like you normally would, you're going to angle it like so. As you're bringing the racket down over the ball, you'll want to snap your wrist, uh, brushing the ball, uh, brushing the back of the ball with as much a uh, racket spin. Wait, with as much racket head spin. Okay, as you can. Makes sense. Uh, kinda. Let me try it a few times. The ball wasn't sailing through the air and land went sailing through the air uh, and landed in the court Chester and Dar Darius were practicing in. No, oh, wow, that's uh, bad. Yeah, it was. Don't worry about it, though. You got the idea right, but it takes some getting used to. Just keep practicing with the balls I have set up here. Oh, once you finish up with the basket, we'll rally and let you practice on your slice. In the meantime, I'm going to check on everyone else. All right. Let's give this a whirl and see if I can get this down. I've emptied the basket and gathered all of the balls back up again. A coach has been have been watching me the whole time. I think he's just observing me. Looks like you're uh, done with serving and are ready to rally. How are you feeling about that serve? Confident. I nailed a lot of them and think I'm getting the hang of it. I'm gonna try using it during their matches Friday. Awesome, glad that you're feeling confident about it. Your coaching is really helping a lot, out a lot. You're great at showing me how to, how to make the shots. Thanks, it's good to know uh, what I'm doing is appreciated by someone. I want you guys to do the best you can. How about we get that rally started?
that, that about does it for the day, I think. You're going to do great, Friday, if you play like, uh, play like you were practicing today. Thanks a lot, Coach. I'm really feeling pumped about it right now. Good. We have to show these guys that we're going to be a force to be reckoned with this year. It makes me happy to see that you're so excited about playing. You're free to head home now. I'm gonna tell the other guys practice is done for the day. Unless... Did you need another ride home today? I can drive you if you'd like me to. Really? I'd appreciate it, since I'm... I'd uh, not have to pay for the bus fare. Sure, I don't mind taking you home. And you live near me, so it's no bother at all. Now, let me just swap, uh, wrap up with the other guys and we'll be on our way. Hey everyone, practice is done for the day. Meet me in my classroom Friday uh, at, at noon. And we'll have a little pep talk before we head out. And keep playing if you want, but I'm out. I'm taking Mr. Josh home. I'll see you all. I'll see some of you in class tomorrow. All set. Yeah, I'm ready if you are. Then let's go. This is the place, right? Yeah, right here is good. Thanks for the ride again. No problem, but... Before you leave, can I ask you something? What is it? Oh, I mentioned my book signing to you, right? Of course. Yeah, we talked a little bit about it in your classroom. <laughs> That's right. I had so much going on, I couldn't remember if I mentioned it to you. Did you happen to mention it to anyone yet? Word of mouth is going to be the best way I get people to come by. I honestly haven't yet. Oh, that's okay. The look in his eyes while he stared at the steering wheel just tugged at your on your heart, and you felt like you had disappointed him. Don't worry, I'll let people know. I live... I live around... Wait. I'll let the people I live around know, so hopefully they show up and can support you. If you do that for me, that would be great. The more people who know, who know the better. I don't feel like it's going to be a big turnout, but I'm not exactly a well-known author yet, either. Regardless, anyone showing up will be a win for me. He's really hoping for a crowd to show up, isn't he? I'll do what I can to spread the word for you, coach. Thanks. You're free to go if you'd like. That's all I wanted to ask. Alright then. I guess I'll see you in class tomorrow, coach. Yeah, I'll see you then. You waited for the coach to drive off before you headed off down the street to your home. You tossed your hat aside and fell down onto your bed on your back. I'm feeling pretty exhausted right now. It's been a busy day and I've gotten a lot of work done. I have no homework or anything else to do, so looks like my day is done. Oh, I've read all that I can so far. Huh? Okay. Man, I'm sore from practice yesterday. Trying out a new serve and working on those new swings really took its toll on me. But it'll be worth it. I'm going to make the coach proud of me. It's time to get ready for school and head off for now. On time. I still have about 15 minutes before I have to be in class. Hey, Mr. Josh! Hey, Darius. Uh, heading to class too? Yeah. I just got here myself. We still have a little time before class starts, though. Always good to be early, right? Anyway, are you ready for the game tomorrow? I guess so. I feel like we could just... Uh, we could use some more practice, but... I guess these games are just practice, too. And besides, Coach seems to be focused on you more than any... Uh... Wait, on you more than on anyone else on the team right now. What do you mean? Darius grins and nudges you with his elbow. Come on, don't act like you didn't notice. I saw how he was helping you yesterday at practice with his arms around you. He, he was just correcting my... trying to correct my stance is all. And he had to bear hug you to do that. Sure, if that's what you think. Not to mention, he's giving you rides home after practice. Is there something that we don't know uh, that we don't know about going on here? What? what? No, it's nothing like that. He, he just dropped me off near my house, or 
Or... Or else I'd uh, have to take the bus. There's nothing going on between us. Ha! You should see your face right now. You're so flustered, you can't even speak straight. Well, don't worry. I won't say anything to anyone. Even if nothing is going on between you, between the two of you, I can clearly see you're interested with how you're acting. And who knows? Maybe he's interested as well. <laughs> well, uh, let's head off to class, shall we? Damn Darius. He's such a pervert that he can see right through me in these situations. Even if I was interested in the coach, there's no way he's gay. All right, everyone. Take your seats and we'll begin the, today's lecture. We'll be covering the next... Wait, uh, the next reading assignment after I pass out... Pass out your papers uh, from the assignment I had you all turn in on Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday, yes. A lot of you didn't read the assignment, the assignment material, and thought you'd just get, a uh, by using other means. That's not how things work in my class. If you read the material, you'll score high. If you didn't, then you won't. Good job, Mr. Josh. I knew someone read it at least. Did I say someone or you? Someone, okay. The coach looked at you with a smile and a nod when he walked, uh, when he walked by, since he already gave you your paper back. When he did, Darius happened to look at your way and raise him, uh, with raised brows and a grin. Darius isn't going to let this go anytime soon. Now that everyone has their papers back, spend a few minutes reading over the notes I've left for you, uh, so you'll uh, have a better idea of what you'll going to, uh, what you'll be doing uh, for the next assignment. After that, I'll talk about some of the key things people missed, and we'll move on from there. Got it. After several minutes, uh, Coach Grifter had everyone on, had everyone put their, yes, put their papers aside and listened to what he had to say. The, re uh, the remainder of the class was spent with him, with the rest of him, <laughs> God, uh, was spent with him discussing how to analyze the book and draw, uh, draw key points from it to... Uh, to write a better essay. Uh, you were distracted, though, and Darius had said to you... <clears throat> no, wait. What Darius had said to you was playing over and over in your head, and you were doing nothing but daydreaming through the class. And for those that have... Wait. Those of you that have calculus after this class, uh, it's uh, been cancelled again today. With that, you're all dismissed for the day. Be sure to read chapter 1 through 5 before class Tuesday, as you'll be having a quiz on it. You get up to leave, and as you do, Coach stops you. Hey, Mr. Josh. What is it, Coach? Are you feeling alright? You seem like you were spacing out a lot during class. Uh, I'm fine. Just a lot of things on my mind is all. Don't worry. I listened to what you had to say, so I'll make sure to get my reading done. I'm sure you'll be, uh, uh, you'll do fine with it. Anyway, since your next class is cancelled, and I have no other classes for a while longer, I have, I was thinking about, uh, thinking about, uh, going to the gym, and wanted to see if you'd want to go as well. Get in one, uh, wait, get in a good workout before the games tomorrow. Uh, how about it? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I have my tennis clothes with me, so I can go change in the locker room. Alright then, let's get going. I've uh, got my shorts and muscle shirts uh, on underneath this, so I'll be good to go. You just wear it? Okay. As you walked with the uh, with the coach, he continued talking about the class... Wait, uh, talking about the class and how irritated he was at the lack of effort being put in by the students. He was passionate about what he did. He didn't like to see those under him slacking off, and it drove him to the uh, to be tough on everyone so they would succeed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks a little loud. That's fine. You hesitated about changing as Coach began to unbutton uh, unbutton his shirt. You knew he was. Uh, you knew he said that he was wearing his gym clothes underneath, but you still but you still watched him. Okay, uh, he was he was obvi oblivious to your staring as he kept talking to you while pulling off his outer clothes, and he was changed before you before you even started. 
you're staring off into space again and haven't even started to change. Maybe j the gym isn't uh, something you need to do today. Oh, sorry. I, I'll be fine once we get started. It'll be easier for me to focus. If you say so. Get your clothes changed and meet me out in the gym. I'll be waiting for you there. I really need to keep my head out of the clouds and focus. The coach is gonna start suspecting something really wrong if I don't straighten up. Alright, that's better. Let's get to work. If there's anything in particular you feel like you should work on while, while here today. Ah... Uh, stamina. I think I need to do some work on stamina. It's hard keeping up with Spencer still. Well, I don't think anyone can keep up with him, but that's a good idea. Hell, I need a bit of... I need a, to uh, work a bit on that aspect too. Maybe I'll help get uh, rid of that uh, this fat I've got here. With a laugh, he grabs his stomach and bounces it a few times. I've been lazy, so this is no way to attract the ladies, is it? I don't know about that. Well, a uh, fantasy is just that, a uh, fantasy. Shouldn't uh, be as distracted now, though. Let's hit up the treadmills and and bikes today, then. You got it, coach. I don't know why I thought it was possible that he might be gay. I've seen him ogling girls at the tennis courts before, and I've uh, seen him flex for them, even. Still, the thought was nice. Even so, I can still look. At least there's a, <laughs> there's a plus side to this. I don't think he needs to lose the gut, either. It looks good on him. Maybe I should tell him that and see how he replies. As you two are preparing for the treadmills to run, you decide to tell him. You know, coach, uh, just because you're a, hey, you've got a bit of a belly on you, doesn't mean the ladies aren't going to come around. You think so? Of course, it looks good on you. You carry it well. The coach, uh, actually uh, looked a little flushed after you said that. It seems that compliment worked. <laughs> well, maybe. I won't be losing it anytime soon, so we'll see. It's not going to be uh, doing that much running. But I'm not doing go not. I'm not going to be doing that much. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm that's fine. I'm I'm fine. Uh, we'll run for a bit, then swap over to the bikes. I hope you're prepared for this. I'll be fine. So maybe you'll be able to keep up with me. For the most part, you work out in silence. It was harder to talk when you were running or riding a bike and having to watch your breath. A coach had been done a, a bit before you, unable to keep up with your pace on either the treadmill treadmill or the bike. Jeez, I can't keep up with you uh, at all. Not at all here. And I'm covered in sweat now. I'm going to head to the showers, then head back to my classroom. I'm not good with the endurance stuff, so I'll leave it to you. I'll see you later. You nod as you continue your workout. After only a few more minutes, you you finished with your cycling and decided it was time to it was time to get changed and head out head out also. So you headed the you headed to the locker room. As you head into the locker room, you notice Coach wasn't around, but you could hear the showers running from the next room over. Coach must be in the shower right now. He did say he was covered in sweat and. Has to be has to go back to class. You change back into your clothes, deciding you would shower once you got home. Before leaving, though, curiosity began to consume you. Wait. Coach might be in there. What if I take just a peek? Just a quick look to tell him I'm leaving. If he sees me, that is. You push the door leading into the shower open and took a quick glance. All the stalls here are empty except one. And the stalls all the... And the uh, stalls all the doors have some privacy, but I can see... I can see through the cracks of them. You crept up to one of the stalls in use and warily glanced through the crack in it. Oh, Matt, what a view. Maybe I'll just, uh, take a look down and...
I really shouldn't be doing this. I'm staring at... I'm starting to act like Darius. <laughs> after... Wait, oh. After making a quick stop in the locker room to grab your stuff, you decide to, it was best to head home for the day. Okay. I think that'll be the, uh... The end of this part, everyone. So I will... I will see you around!